Hey, uh, <clears throat> let's start again. Hey, it's Michaela. It's been a while. It's just life, you know. I think everyone's in the same boat. But I'm finally doing a video. It's one I've wanted to do for a long time. And it is all about my sewing patterns. So if you know me, you know that I love sewing, you know that I love DIY, but I'm also obsessed with collecting retro or old school patterns. So today I am going to go through my collection and show you how I, well, tell you how I source them, how I prep them for sewing, how I store them and organize them and so on and so on. So my favorite place to source cool sewing patterns is actually from the op shop or the thrift store. Uh, they're often really, really cheap, like 50 cents to $2, and you can find some super cool retro things like 80s patterns, all sorts of fun stuff. Now, with this, you might find that some pieces are a little bit worse for wear, or you're missing a piece, or whatever. Um, so I'll show you how I go through that as well, but most of the time you can kind of make it work, or even if you like a top, like top portion of a dress, and then you get to the pattern and you're like, crap, well there's no skirt. You can just like mix it with another pattern. Quick side note, I know I'm having a bad hair day. I just, it needs to be washed. It has dry shampoo and all sorts of crap oil in it. So let's just glaze over that and do what we're all here for. Sewing pattern. Basically, I've sorted them into categories. This one, for example, is dresses. And uh, I don't know if you want to see all of them or what. I'm just going to kind of wing it. <sighs> Tops, skirts, sets. <laughs> uh, outer, miscellaneous and fancy dresses. And I'm sure if you've sewn before, you know that it is quite a mission to get them back into their little paper envelopes. So sometimes you just have to give up and put them in a folder, or a folder, or a folder. I keep the paper envelope, um, so you can still have all the original info, you can see what it is at a glance with a picture, you got all the sizing information, all the cutting info, uh, how much fabric you need, etc. And then I just fold them up and put them in these pockets. So, as you can see, there is a few dresses in here. I might show you more in depth when I'm not sitting on a chair and trying to hold this up, but you get the vibe. This one is not labelled, so I don't actually know what's in here. Cute little... I apologise for the light. Uh, this is miscellaneous bits. So, like, for example, a pocket from a random pattern. Now, one day I would like to go through this and figure out what the pattern number is, Google it online, um, and figure out what I'm missing. But it's honestly really handy to have random pocket patterns, so you can kind of put it in with another item. When people know you sew, they give you a lot of miscellaneous things, like family, friends, or whatever. They're like, oh my gosh, I have all these old patterns, or I have a collection of buttons, or zips, or whatever. And it's a blessing and a curse. Uh, but I love it. One thing that I do like to do, which I'll go more in depth later, I think, is, for example, this particular one. So I've ticked off the pieces that I have in this set, so that I know I'm missing this one. But I think it's a facing, so I can wing that, which is fabulous. But it's always good to double check that. I don't really care, I will buy whatever size, um, I just sort of want the shape and then I can put it together. Um, so for example, this one, it's size 6 to 16, there, um, I think it's good to note if you're buying patterns. Um, it may not be your correct size. And also if you're buying a pattern, I mean you can get, you can see if you're looking in a thrift store and you're like, oh this is a really cute, like I feel like this is on trend, I should make this. Uh, have a look inside and see this one still looks like it's factory folded so I know that all the pieces are still in there. And 100% this is a new pattern, it has not been touched, which we love. Like, hasn't been cut, nothing. So I get to do all of that fun stuff. Um, this is actually, I'm going to make this. Hello. Look how cute this is. So that's a really important thing to note. And also, uh, the little booklets that come with your pattern have a lot of info on there. If you're not a confident sewer yet, um, definitely look at these. It shows you 
that's a noisy cart. It shows you your steps, your pattern pieces, your options, uh, your cutting layouts, all sorts of good info. So definitely hang on to that. Let's start off with top skirts and sets. This Butterick. She's cute. See, this is one that I think could probably go in my folder. Um, it's a little sad. This is the stuff I'm talking about. Like, finding patterns like this. Are you kidding me? It is so cool and retro. I love. Less of a vibe, but you could make it work. Like, you could make a cute little cami there. There's the one I was showing you before. This is another one that could probably go into my folder. It's held together with a bulldog clip, but it's still good. I mean, are you kidding? It's so cute. Sorry, I just got spooked by the neighbors and then I thought, you know what, who gives a shit if they see me sitting here with my tripod and my mic and my ring light? Oakley Doakley, so we're gonna continue with this set of patterns here. Um, this is a really cool Vogue. 50 cents! I mean, it's a little grammar-y, but I could totally make it work. You could crop off the bottom, you could change the sleeves, like, I mean, who doesn't need a pair of pants or a skirt? Like, you've got so many options. Excuse me? Is this not a vibe? But like, this? Or this? I mean, you've got pants, you've got skirt, you've got all the choices. Like, why don't we wear stuff like this anymore? Like, I would wear this out, 100%. This cute little top and wide leg pants. A wrap skirt? Who doesn't love a wrap skirt? Now, another really good point is like, you might look at this and be like, oh my god, cute, it's got a top and a skirt and pants. Make sure you look at the back to actually see what the pattern is, because sometimes it is not the set, they've just styled it for the front. So this one, for example, we've only got the pants, the capri, and the mini skirt. And yet another mini skirt. Like, I think this is actually from, like, year nine sewing textiles class or something. And I remember the first time I made this pattern, I cut on the shorten or lengthen line, and it was, it was a mini, 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 mini skirt. And, uh, a bit of a disaster. Is this the same model? No. Again, like, I may not vibe with this sort of hip situation, but you could totally tweak it to make it up higher. Oh! See, this one will need to go in my folder eventually, but like, what? This is fabulous. Fabulous. And you've got, you've literally, you've, wait. Is that a bodysuit? I have a bodysuit pattern and I didn't even know. This is why we need to go through your pattern collection. And we love this. Very easy. Very easy. Cute! Like, such a vibe. The bat wing sleeve. This is 100% like I would wear this nowadays. And look how easy it is. Like, what? I love it. the original pricing. So, with all these patterns, they had the original pricing listed on them. Like, if you were to buy a pattern like this now, it'd be like $16. Which, plus the price of fabric, is just not... Affordable. Also, conspiracy theory vibes here. I swear they have made home sewing. I know my face isn't in this, but like, mm. <laughs> they've made home sewing so difficult because of fast fashion. Like, no way in hell can you buy a pattern for sixteen dollars and then spend forty dollars on fabric and then spend three hours making something when you can just buy it for, you know, $20 from some crapola brand, which is not really a brand, everything's just made overseas super cheap, and they make thousands of them. So it's actually really disappointing that they've made it so unbelievably difficult. Like, it used to be normal to sew and make all your own clothes. So let's bring this back. I'm hoping on this channel that I can bring this back and show you how easy it is to make your own clothes. But like, is this not the freaking cutest? Or this little lace situation? Like, wait, no, look at this one. So cute, and I paid 50 cents for it. Oh, there you go, it was 11 95 But I paid 50 cents. <sighs> I mean, a dollar. 
It is so cute. And this is our vibe. This is on trend right now. Like, look at this little polka dot cute patootie. People would 100% wear that now. And this is old school. <laughs> Look, this is 2000s vibe, for sure. But with stuff like this, like you don't have to make this one long. You could do a little cute peplum. You could do this one as just like this top piece. Like there are so many opportunities. It doesn't have to be exactly what the pattern is. And I'm sorry, 50 cents for this? Like, oh, what? That is adorable. That is absolutely a vibe. And speaking of vibes, are you, what is this? I love this. Like you could totally make that work. Or this, or I mean, like, yes. So just quick little, quick little change of train of thought. You've got here your pattern number, how many pieces are in here. These are your styles, front and backs. And now this has a brief little overview. So it's got a description of the style, extra fabric is needed to match patterns, so on. It has your suggested fabrics, which is really good to know because if you don't really know what you're doing, um, this is a good suggestion to get the, the really nice finish. Now, of course, saying that you don't have to use the suggested fabrics, you can use whatever fabric you want. Um, now it will give you some measurements I don't really trust these, especially with the older styles, like uh, it'll say something is a size 12, but really it fits me and I'm like a 10 or an 8, mm, 10, let's be real. <laughs> anyway, getting distracted. So you've got your view one, how much fabric you need um, for each size. So for example, a 12, you need view one blouse, 2.9 and so on. Um, here is your overview of your pattern pieces and also a text um, description. Keeping on the vibe of fabulous shirts, another pattern for 99 cents. Amazing. Now I just saw these in this little tray. That is one way you can store your patterns. Now I find it definitely good to label. On to dresses. I mean, this is so cute. Meh. I mean, meh. 99 cents. Oh, that is so cute. Like, look at these style lines. Are you kidding? I have actually made this. And it is a vibe. And are you, this was 75 cents. But like, how cute are these dresses? I've actually made this one too. Is that not the freaking sweetest little pattern? Like look at this little pockets or buttons down the back. Like, that was a dollar. Super cute. I think this might be missing some things, but I will make it work because this is what we do. And the funny story with this one actually, I was about, I was making my sister's wedding dress and it was about a week before the wedding and I was focusing so hard on her dress that I actually didn't have anything else for me to wear. So I was like, all right, this is cute. We're going to make this, but it's a pretty simple style. So we're going to make it in all over sequins. That will be fun. And I cut it out and started sewing it together and hated it. It just did not have the flow that this pattern needs. So if you look at the fabric types, soft or crisp fabrics, 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 silk, crepe, satin, and so on, like definitely not sequins. So I ended up actually cutting it into a super cute pencil skirt and like cropped top. So that's what I mean about patterns. You can tweak them. So this one, I ended up just cutting it off here, leaving it open and flowy and doing thick satin straps with bows, really, really long. Made this into a pencil skirt. Done. Amazing. Beautiful. Gorgeous. We can make her work. This is super freaking cute. 75 cents again. Like, amazing. Extra carefree, extra easy, and extra quick. So this one, like, I 
Don't know. I mean, maybe you could make this work. But again, it was a dollar and you've got a dress. You've got how many styles there? You've got one, two, three, four, four styles for a dollar. Bargain. Another dollar. Super carefree, easy. We love elastic waists. Is this so cute or is this so cute? Like, you could tweak this to be just the dress, but even the freaking collar and the sleeves on this is amazing. Like, this is so cute. What in the 70s? 80s? Like, <laughs> she's got a little flower choker. Like, so cute. But I feel like you could make that super fun. Another fabulous piece like structured bodices corset tops are super on trend so today for example you really like this top just make a top like you don't need to make a skirt or if you really like the skirt just make a skirt you don't need to make the top this is similar to the one that i did for well the attempted wedding guest dress this is one of my favorites and i have not made it yet but it is so cute actually no i've made the top just the top. A simple dress, folded less than nicely. <laughs> this is a stunner. I've made this one too. It is so unique in its style lines. I've never seen a pattern like this before. It's got the darts that go all the way down the side here. So you can see, like, this is the dress. This is the pattern piece. Excuse me? It's cut on the bias, but you have these really cool style lines. Backless, stunning. But like you, if you were to buy this made now, it'd be so expensive. So make it yourself. Like look at that backless. Oh, she's stunning. This is a very retro pattern. Again, super cute little tops. Like this as a mini. So cute. Love the tie straps. Gorgeous little summer dress. This one is kind of ugly. But I feel like there's potential. And it was 99 cents, so, you know, we gotta give it a go. And this one, again, 99 cents. Make it short. Super cute. Change the sleeves. <laughs> so cute. So cute. And on trend, like this contrasting colour. This is the other thing I love about patterns, is you get so much inspo from the pictures on the front. Like, so cute. And even this, you could just do a top. Effortless chic. I mean, look at the sleeves. And the little flounce. I don't know what's going on here. This one doesn't even have a, a pattern, so this one should go in my folder. But um, can you imagine this out of recycled denim? Like if you got some old jeans, cut that up. Pants with little ruffles? Excuse me? Oh no, it's dress. I don't know. Is it a dress? Is it pants? Another cute little option like everyone loves this underbust stuff at the moment this does not look good but like if you did this in a cute fabric amazing back ruffles so cute again make a dress make a top make a whatever you want this is definitely a gifted one <laughs> um i may not make this but we got to give her a go Another, like, who doesn't love comfort? Stunning. Stunning. I feel like this should be in my fancy dresses section, so I might just, uh, might relocate that to this one. Mmm. This is definitely a gifted to me, but... You might be able to make it work. I don't know. Possibly. Same as this. This is so, like, 90s, 2000s, but tweak it. You can't really see this, but... So much potential. Like, are you, this is, imagine this is like a raincoat. <laughs> so 90s. <laughs> it was a dollar. And I wanted this because I wanted to make a, like, fleecy sort of zipper. Well, I wanted to make this for, like, the snow, comfy coat. Like, a little cinched waist moment. Oh, this one's falling apart. But again, this is a bomber jacket. Like, you could change the length of it. I'm, I keep saying you could change it, but you totally could. Like, is this not the coolest? So effortless chic. Effortless chic? Effortlessly chic. Another gifted. 
but you know it's a simple sort of dress jacket blazer this is amazing this was 50 cents like what i would totally rock this how freaking cute the little like suit with the little booty shorts some bathers i've actually never made bathers so this is on my to-do list and 50 cents <laughs> So you go, suggested fabric, swimwear fabric with spandex lycra. Cool. So what is swimwear fabric? A lot of people don't know. Same as this. Like, how freaking cute. These little ruffle shorts with the bandeau top. Like, look how simple it is, too. I don't play tennis. But I would play tennis. If I had one of these. Same. Like, so cute. I actually bought these ones off Facebook, I believe. I think they were a couple dollars each, but totally worth it. I love this little skirt. A little skirt pattern like yes thank you just for fashion not even for functionality yeah I bought all of these in a set like the little princess line so cute it's got bloomers <laughs> this is definitely a gifted one and I haven't gone through and organized this but it's fine we keep I love this neckline this is what made me buy this one so mod pajamas can't go wrong with pajamas Oh, and this is like, this gives me the vibes of those chiffon um, gowns with the feather trim. Like, people used to wear this. So cool. More lovely lingerie. Like, how cute is this little romper? You got a slip skirt, cami, shorts, another skirt, a dress. Like, so many choices. Is that not the cutest style? And I would wear them out. Maybe not Maybe not this one or this one, but like you could totally wear that out. Same as a skirt. And then there's some uh, less fashionable, fashionable pajamas. A beautiful gown. Like, look at the back detailing on that. A bow. Stunning. Stunning. Holy moly. And like such unique style lines. Like, look at the back. <gasps> god oh, I definitely want to try this one same like such a vibe and this holy freaking moly look at the sleeves oh imagine rocking up to a party like this or a wedding or a, you know like <gasps> retro butterick 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 a 75 cent pattern we love like how cute! A mini? I mean if you want to go formal, a formal long one. This too is super duper on trend. This is the best thing about going and finding old school retro patterns at thrift stores, op shops. Like you find stuff like this that is so on trend in stores now. Like make it yourself. Is this, this is so cute. And looks easy. Now this is a retro. I love that people used to wear this. Like, look at the sleeves on this monster. This was probably more so bought for, like, a costume piece, but still, it's a vibe. The absolute coolest jumpsuit. A very simple dress. Another very simple dress. Another simple dress. But, you know, you get the vibe. So I'll show you how I actually make these ones. So let's go find one of those sad, sad patterns. Let's do this one. We keep this piece and if it's sort of sad, I'm going to cut it so we can put it on an A4 piece of paper. Like so. So now this will go on to our paper. And then you can check off on your sheet what pieces you actually have. So these are my pieces. I like to start off with the little ones. I don't know why, it's just a personal preference. So we have number seven, which is the back facing, this one. So we take that off. This is number five, it's a sleeve. A very interesting sleeve pattern. And then I basically, I mean, these are, these are all right. It's just, it basically presses them out. 
you can trim if needed if there's any sort of dodgy cuts but like you hide that all in your seam allowance and uh, make sure you fold it so you can actually see what the piece is like, that's fairly important <laughs> now it doesn't have to be folded as compact because it's going in our a4 piece of paper our a4 plastic pocket but now i can see that's pattern five sleeve dress or top pop number seven on that too eight so i know this is a complete pattern which is awesome there you go i'm done so this is basically how I store them in my cube shelves. So I have those two little plastic containers there, dresses, top skirts and sets. And then I have a folder next to it. Ideally I'd like to get some containers that fit in here quite snugly, but you know, you do what you do. Then I have the other one with the two folders. Um, it seems to work pretty well. I mean these you can just pull out straight away and sort of... You know, you can go through and be like, oh yes, I want to make a dress today. So you can just look straight through it. Um, <laughs> sneaky peek of my lovely fabric. Whoop, whoop. Uh, there is so much more. Just this is very, very sidetrack, but. I mean, I'll, I'll do that later. I do have a studio tour coming up, but over this side, I have some more organized things sequins for example this is also ikea we have another sequins oh it's too heavy i do also have this rack here which is a little bit smooshed which is all of my actual patterns that i have made um that's through my business which i've taken a bit of a hiatus from um but basically that is the patterns that i have done um, I'll do a separate video on that if you're interested in how to store them. Anywho, that's sort of it. And uh, I might look a little bit more frazzled because I spent about three hours in the garden as uh, a bit of a breather from <laughs> doing this. I do have one last pattern, which is the coolest vintage ski snow set which I will make eventually. I hope this video helped and you enjoyed looking at all my patterns and will maybe take some inspo to reorganize yours. Uh, but I am going to do a series on this channel where I make every single one of these. So, stay tuned. I've said it out loud now, so it needs to happen. Bye.